In the realm of mythology and folklore, few creatures evoke as much fear and fascination as the werewolf. These creatures, often depicted as humans capable of transforming into fearsome wolves, have haunted our imaginations for centuries. The werewolf myth, with its roots in ancient cultures, speaks to our primal fears of the unknown and the beast that might lurk within us all. From campfire stories to Hollywood blockbusters, the werewolf has transcended time and culture, captivating audiences with its chilling duality. Its story is one of transformation, savagery, and the thin veil that separates humanity from the wild. This essay delves into the origins, history, and enduring appeal of the werewolf, exploring the myths, legends, and potential realities that have shaped our understanding of this legendary creature. Join us as we journey into the heart of werewolf lore, separating fact from fiction and uncovering the truth behind this enduring myth. We will explore ancient tales, historical accounts, and modern interpretations, shedding light on the creature that continues to haunt our nightmares and fuel our imaginations. Prepare yourself for a thrilling exploration of the beast within. The roots of the werewolf myth run deep, stretching back to the dawn of civilization. These myths have been passed down through generations, evolving and adapting to the cultural contexts of the times. Ancient cultures across the globe incorporated tales of shape-shifting humans into their folklore, often associating them with the supernatural and the animal world. These stories were not just mere entertainment, they served as moral lessons, warnings and explanations for the unknown. These early legends provide a glimpse into our ancestors' understanding of the natural world and the complex relationship between humanity and nature. The dense forests and untamed wilderness were often seen as mysterious and dangerous, places where the boundaries between the human and animal worlds could blur. One of the earliest written accounts of a werewolf-like creature appears in the Epic of Gilgamesh, a Mesopotamian epic poem dating back to the second millennium BC. This ancient text is one of the oldest surviving pieces of literature and offers a window into the beliefs and fears of early civilizations. The epic tells the story of King Gilgamesh, who encounters a character named Ishtar, the goddess of love and war. Ishtar's dual nature as both a nurturing and destructive force is a common theme in ancient mythology. When Gilgamesh spurns her advances, Ishtar unleashes the bull of heaven upon the land, turning men into wolves as punishment. This transformation serves as a metaphor for the loss of humanity and the descent into savagery. In Greek mythology, the tale of Lycaon, king of Arcadia, offers another early depiction of werewolf lore. The Greeks were fascinated by the concept of transformation and often used it to explore themes of identity and morality. According to legend, Lycaon angered the god Zeus by testing his omniscience. This act of hubris or excessive pride was a common theme in Greek mythology and often led to severe consequences. In a gruesome act, Lycaon served Zeus a meal made from the flesh of his own son. This horrifying deed was meant to challenge Zeus's divine knowledge and power. As punishment for this horrific deed, Zeus transformed Lycaon into a wolf, condemning him to a life of savagery and solitude. This transformation was not just a physical change but also a symbolic one, representing the loss of humanity and the embrace of primal instincts. These early legends, though separated by time and geography, share common themes. They reflect the universal human fear of losing one's identity and the consequences of defying the divine order. They often depict werewolves as creatures born out of divine punishment, reflecting the ancient belief in the power of the gods to influence human affairs. These stories served as cautionary tales, warning against hubris and the breaking of societal taboos. These stories also highlight the primal fear of transformation and the loss of control, suggesting an underlying anxiety about the boundaries between humanity and the animal world. The werewolf myth, in its many forms, continues to captivate our imagination, reminding us of the thin line between civilization and savagery. As centuries passed, the werewolf myth continued to evolve, taking on new forms and meanings in different cultures. From ancient Greece to the Norse sagas, the concept of humans transforming into wolves has been a recurring theme in folklore and mythology. These stories often reflected the fears and anxieties of the times, serving as cautionary tales or explanations for the unknown. During the Middle Ages, belief in werewolves reached its peak in Europe, fueled by superstition, religious fervor, 
and a lack of scientific understanding of the natural world. The fear of the unknown, combined with the harsh realities of medieval life, created a fertile ground for such myths to flourish. People sought explanations for the unexplainable, and the werewolf legend provided a convenient scapegoat for various misfortunes. This era witnessed a surge in alleged werewolf sightings and attacks, leading to widespread fear and paranoia. Villagers would often band together, armed with torches and pitchforks, to hunt down the supposed werewolves. These hunts were not just about finding a creature, they were about restoring a sense of control and safety in a world that often seemed chaotic and dangerous. One of the most infamous werewolf cases of this time is that of Peter Stuber, also known as the Werewolf of Bedburg, who terrorized the German countryside in the 16th century. His story is a grim reminder of how fear and superstition can lead to tragic outcomes. Stuber was accused of a series of gruesome murders and cannibalism, crimes that shocked and horrified the local population. Accused of a series of gruesome murders and cannibalism, Stuber confessed to making a pact with the devil, claiming to possess a magical belt that granted him the ability to transform into a wolf-like creature. This belt, he said, was the source of his monstrous powers. Whether or not such a belt ever existed, the story captured the imagination of the people and became a part of local legend. Though his confession was likely coerced under torture, Stubb's case became a chilling example of the power of mass hysteria and the very real consequences of werewolf accusations. The fear of werewolves was so intense that it could lead to the torture and execution of individuals based on little more than suspicion and superstition. This case serves as a stark reminder of the dangers of allowing fear to override reason. Another notable account is the story of the werewolf of Dole, a mysterious creature that terrorized the French town of Dole in the 16th century. This story, like that of Peter Stubb, highlights the widespread nature of werewolf beliefs across Europe. The werewolf of Dole was said to be a large, wolf-like beast that attacked livestock and even humans, spreading fear throughout the community. Reports described a large, wolf-like beast that attacked livestock and even humans. The attacks were brutal and left the villagers in a state of constant fear. They would find their animals slaughtered and sometimes even human victims, leading to a sense of dread that permeated the town. The inability to capture the creature only added to the fear and mystery surrounding it. Though never captured, the werewolf of Dole became ingrained in local folklore. Its story passed down through generations. Elders would recount the tales around fires, ensuring that the legend lived on. These stories served as both entertainment and a way to instill caution in the younger generations, warning them of the dangers that lurked in the dark forests. These historical accounts, though often shrouded in myth and exaggeration, offer a glimpse into the very real fear and fascination that surrounded werewolves during this period. They reflect a time when the line between reality and myth was often blurred, and when stories of supernatural creatures were taken very seriously. The werewolf legend was not just a story, it was a part of the cultural fabric of the time. They also highlight the social and cultural context in which these beliefs flourished, reflecting a time when superstition and fear often overshadowed reason and logic. In a world where scientific knowledge was limited and the unknown was a source of constant anxiety, werewolf legends provided a way to make sense of the inexplicable. These stories are a testament to the power of myth and the enduring human fascination with the unknown. The werewolf's defining characteristic, its ability to transform from human to beast, is often described in vivid detail in mythology and folklore. This transformation is not just a physical change, but also a profound alteration of the individual's nature and behavior, often leading to a loss of humanity and a surge of primal instincts. The methods of transformation vary widely across cultures, ranging from magical curses and demonic pacts to inherited afflictions and even voluntary shapeshifting. In some stories, individuals are cursed by witches or sorcerers, while in others, they make pacts with dark forces to gain the power of the werewolf. In some traditions, the transformation is triggered by the full moon, linking the werewolf to the lunar cycle and its perceived influence on human behavior. The full moon is often seen as a time when the boundaries between the human and supernatural worlds are thinnest, allowing for such dramatic changes to occur. This connection to the moon likely stems from ancient beliefs that associated the moon with madness, violence, and the supernatural. The term lunacy itself is derived from the Latin word for moon, 
Luna, reflecting the age-old belief in the moon's power to affect human minds and behavior. Other legends describe specific rituals or objects that can induce the transformation, such as drinking from enchanted streams, wearing cursed garments, or applying magical ointments. These methods often involve elements of nature and magic, highlighting the mystical origins of the werewolf myth. These tales often emphasize the mystical and unpredictable nature of the werewolf's power, suggesting that the transformation is not always within the individual's control. The struggle between human and beast is a central theme, with the individual often caught in a battle for their very soul. Cultural variations abound in werewolf lore, reflecting the unique beliefs and traditions of different societies. Each culture adds its own flavor to the myth, creating a rich tapestry of stories that explore the nature of humanity and the beast within. In some cultures, werewolves are seen as malevolent entities, driven by bloodlust and savagery. These werewolves are often depicted as uncontrollable monsters, posing a grave threat to humans and livestock alike. In others, they are depicted as tragic figures, cursed with a dual nature that brings them both power and suffering. These stories often explore themes of isolation and the struggle to retain one's humanity in the face of overwhelming primal urges. For example, in Norse mythology, werewolves are often associated with berserkers, fierce warriors who were said to enter a trance-like state of fury in battle. These berserkers were believed to channel the spirits of animals, gaining their strength and ferocity. These warriors, clad in animal skins and driven by a primal rage, were believed to possess superhuman strength and resilience. Their transformation was not just physical, but also mental, allowing them to fight with an almost supernatural ferocity. In Native American folklore, the werewolf myth takes on a more spiritual dimension. The transformation is often seen as a connection to the spirit world, with the werewolf embodying the power and wisdom of the animal kingdom. Some tribes revere werewolves as powerful spirits or shape-shifting tricksters, while others view them as guardians or protectors of the natural world. These stories highlight the deep respect for nature and the belief in the interconnectedness of all living things, 